All right, you know, we were over at Richie's house. Uh, yeah, take one there that you you didn't see. You're not gonna see. Uh, we were dropping things, and then uh, the things didn't go very well. But uh, we bought um, the inch and an eight U channel aluminum channel from uh, Metal Mart. We bought the skin uh, O32 uh, non-painted, uh, just raw aluminum skin from Metal Mart, um, along with a bunch of other stuff. But uh, we did the, uh, like I said, uh, uh, 23, 30 seconds uh, plywood and then a five millimeter, what they call underlayment, which is this, which would be the inside of the door. Get some light going here. This is really nice stuff, right? Um, so this is the inside. And uh, obviously the outside looks like that one there. This has got the uh, the seal. This will be the, the uh, passenger side door that closes last. And uh, that'll be the driver's side door. It'll have that rib that goes underneath for the, the seal up the two doors. Um, and so we, we ended up making replacing this uh mess with yeah. a solid door now they're 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 a lot heavier um than the mold doors but they're also going to be a lot stronger and a lot more durable they, and they're gonna they, they're, they're gonna outlast the rest of the trailer so they ain't that much um it, it is what it is we don't care we bought new hinges we got new hinges for the back door the box. um yeah we got some paint and other stuff we're, we're doing with uh with the trim up above that silver paint that we painted but um here are the uh the hinges hope i wasn't on top of the microphone here are the hinges um we bought four new hinges and we're gonna we're still working on how we're gonna how we're gonna get these on here um obviously these other ones are welded on um so we've, we've got a little bit of work to do we've got uh another apparatus here the uh rv door handle that we're going to put right here in this in this access door we're getting rid of all this apparatus this garbage is going to go um and then we'll, we're going to rework this door you see there's a bit of rot down here too so uh that'll be a quick job we'll get that done and then uh then it's on to uh addressing this silver paint we put on last year you can see it's all cr cracked up i don't know what happened there uh, it's rust-oleum didn't just didn't work out too well so we'll sand it because it's good and good and dried up now uh we'll give it a good scuff and sand get it cleaned up if we have to we'll sand it all right off uh and then we're going to do hammer tone up there like i told you in the other video to match the wheels so it'll be uh, a darker silver hammer tone up there uh and then blue blue like the truck uh on on the outside so we're uh we're we're creeping away at it uh Let's go ahead and flip this door over, Richie. Boy, this was one of the big edges. I didn't want to. Last thing I want to do was get a sliced up. See that really? I mean, it is heavier, but not like I thought it was going to be. So now we we uh, we'll go ahead and mark the spots for to put this uh, seal deal on here. Um, and then we, we go ahead and measure out all the spots. We marked where the screws went through from the other side so we don't go into them from this side here. And we'll just lay it all out, take the uh, auto punch, punch little um, little starter spots in it for the drill. And then we'll just, we'll just drill just through, of course, I do this bit so we don't drill too far into the wood. Rich, appreciate it. Uh, I don't mean to rag on Richie, but... Uh, yeah, we, we, me and Rich have two different uh, two different work patterns. I'm an afternoon shift guy. I get up in the morning, uh, what I call the morning, 8, 9 o'clock, right? And I have my morning schedule. Uh, I do the, the same thing every morning, and uh, I don't get my day started until I do that stuff. Richard gets up at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning because he's used to getting up at the crack of dawn and having to be at work at 5 in the morning. And then by three in the afternoon, he's pissing and moaning about he's done where I'm just getting, I'm just shifting gears at three o'clock in the afternoon. So um, we kind of clash in that aspect. But yeah, we uh, we put the, the clear silicone on the inside after we, we first we glued the underlayment uh, to the 23, 30 seconds with uh, this here. We use some... Uh, Damp Dynaflex. No, this is the. 
That's more of the clear stuff. We, we used uh, construction adhesive to glue it together. And then we, uh, we used this Super 77 spray glue here uh, on, the ba on the aluminum and on the plywood. And then we glued the, uh, the aluminum skin down so it wouldn't move when we were going ahead and doing all this stuff here. But uh, that's it. We're, we're trying to get these doors together here today so we can, uh, we can get the rest of this crap cleaned up and, and move on. We got a bunch of stuff to do, go-karts to finish, all before uh, middle of next month so we can try to get to Nelson and do what? some more Nelson playing and tell birthday, Bob? Yeah, birthday weekend. Yep. So, that's it. Look at how nice. It's beautiful. See y'all.